Ni hao, or hello in Chinese, and welcome to Musical Sprouts and the Great China Excursion. My name is Yaping, and I will be your guide on this journey. When you think about China, what are some things like you think about? I bet some of you are going to say Chinese food or fortune cookies. They are not from China. Or maybe the 2022 Winter Olympic Games in Beijing. I think about pandas because I love pandas, and I like to visit the Chengdu Giant Panda Research Facility in Sichuan, or maybe the bamboo forest in Shunan. But there's so much more to learn about China. For example, did you know that one out of five of all the world's people live in China? That is about 1.3 billion people. Yes, I said a billion. Many of the greatest inventions of all time came from China, even paper. Some paper artifacts have been found dating all the way back to the second century BC, like this map found in Fengmatan, Tianshui. It is the oldest example of a pulp papermaking in the world. Do you use paper money? Yes, me too. The idea of a paper money or currency was developed in China. In America, we use the dollar, but in China, they use the renminbi. The renminbi is the official currency of China. It is the eighth most traded currency in the world. Do you remember the compass rods that we used to help us find our way around on the map? It was invented in China too. China is so big that it was so important to be able to navigate. The development of the compass helped make it easier. Fun fact: If you put all of China's railway lines together, they could loop around the Earth two times. That's a lot of railway lines. We sure love our fireworks here in San Antonio. But did you know that fireworks were invented in China in the second century BC in ancient Liaoyang, China? The first natural firecrackers were simple bamboo stalks. When throwing the fire, they would just pop because the hot air pockets in the bamboo. Even gunpowder comes from China, commonly known as black powder. It is the earliest known chemical explosive. Chinese monks discovered the technology in the ninth century during their quest to extend life. The key ingredient, salt paper, had been used in the past for medical purposes, but it was found to be so explosive that they immediately knew they could use it for warfare. China also has amazing geography. Have you heard of the Great Wall of China? It is the largest man-made structure on the planet, and stretches across China. Eventually, the mortar used to bind the Great Wall stones, including a sticky rice for additional strength. What about Mount Everest? It is the tallest mountain in the world, located on the border between China and Nepal. The Chinese alphabet is unique as well. The alphabet we use has 26 characters, but the Chinese language has over 50,000 written characters. Many languages uses the symbols over time, and it is one of the oldest writing systems in the world. It is still used today in several countries. In Chinese, it is called Han Zi, means Han character. Did you know that each New Year in China is named after one of twelve animals? 2022 is called the Year of the Tiger. In America, we celebrate the New Year with parties on New Year's Eve, December 31st, and with special foods and family celebrations on January 1st. But in China, they celebrate the Lunar New Year for 15 days. China is different from America in lots of ways. 
But one of the biggest differences is that China has been around for a very long time. It is truly an amazing mix of the old and the new. From its beginnings as one of the world's four ancient civilizations, the writing history dates back to the Shang Dynasty over 3,000 years ago. If you traveled to China today, you would see ancient temples and palaces, as well as a modern world. Today, you will learn about what makes the country of China so special, and you will travel to different destinations that make China unique. Before I forget, there's another very cool thing that was invented in China. Board games and dominoes. You'll be playing a board game in our next lesson. And friends, I encourage you to research other things invented in China and report back to your teacher and classmates on what you discovered. In our activity today, you and your friends will work as a team to travel around China. You will be given a budget of $500. Seems like a lot of money, but when we travel, the money goes so quickly, unless we make a budget. And that's what we will do. You decide where to go, what to eat, and what souvenirs you want to bring to your family and friends. You will visit three cities in China, Beijing, Shanghai, and Wuxi. Maybe you and your friends would like to visit the Great Wall or the Forbidden City. Perhaps you would prefer the Summer Palace in Beijing. Planning is very important when taking a trip. Use the travel brochure to make your choices. Keep in mind you have a budget of $500. Then, each player on your team takes turn drawing a card from the deck. Read what's on the card. The card may require you to spend money on an unexpected expense, or you might just earn money as well. Keep track of your expenses on the budget sheet. At the end of 30 minutes, your teacher will call time and you will stop the game finalizing your budget. The team that stays with the $500 budget wins. I hope it's your team. As you play, I'll be planning your next lesson. You'll be playing another game where you will learn about the rivers of China. You're gonna love it. Have fun and I will see you next time. 再见!